GOP presidential hopeful Carly Fiorina made a stop in Idaho Falls today. Eyewitness News reporter Allison Zimmerman joins us live at the Melaleuca headquarters where the presidential hopeful took the stage today. Allison? Todd, hundreds of people flocked here today to listen to what Fiorina had to say. Everything from higher education to budgets, health care, and even technology. She says everyone should have a smartphone. Presidential hopeful Carly Fiorina landed her feet in eastern Idaho today, addressing potential voters on issues like health care. What have we never tried? It's called the free market. The job market for new professionals. Get a job. Any job. Don't worry about whether it's the right job. And even technology. How I'm going to do that. First of all, let me ask a little question. How many of you still own a flip phone? Okay. You need to upgrade. <laughs> you have 16 months to do it. As for the guilty in the crowd. All right, are you thinking about switching to a smartphone now? Well, if I can, if I can get one that's cheap enough. A little laughter circulated the room, but Fiorina meant business. You know the answers to a lot of these problems. Weekly radio address. I'm going to ask you in my weekly radio addresses, I'm going to ask you to take out your smartphone. I'll press one for yes, press two for no. She says she plans to use technology to enhance engagement with the public, and when it comes to finding a solution to the federal budget. In my first term in office, I will submit a budget that balances within a decade. That Which made some people in the crowd feel a little more at ease. Me, our country is going down and down and down, and it just is sad for me for my grandchildren and those beyond. In addition to her plans for balancing the budget, she says she plans to make student loans a competitive industry and she wants to repeal Obamacare. Reporting live at the Melaleuca headquarters, I'm Allison Zimmerman. All right, Allison, thank you for that. Uh, Fiorina's next campaign stop, by the way, will be in Iowa tomorrow.